Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the path sensitization methods used in software testing environment. So as we discussed in the previous lecture, a predicate is an expression that can be evaluated by using the Boolean values that is true or false statements. Many of the decision points can be encoded as predicates that is which action should be taken under what conditions. So the most common used predicates in the programming language are if else statements or if else ladder statements and the multi-way predicate statements are such case statements in programming language. So when we are considering a predicate we should think about the path. A path through a program is a sequence of statements that starts at an entry junction or decision and ends at another junction decision or an exit point. A path may be through several junctions, processes, decisions, one or more times. A path consists of different segments and the smallest segment is known as a link. A link is a single process that lies between two different nodes. And the length of the path is the number of links in a path. A path testing based on a structure is a powerful unit testing tool. With the suitable interpretations, it can be used for system functional test. The objective of path testing is to execute enough tests to assure that as a minimum C1 plus C2 conditions have been achieved. Select path as deviation from a normal path starting with the simplest, most familiar, most direct path from an entry to exit point is very much important in program decoding. When we come to the software testing environment, the term input is very much important. In testing, the word input is not restricted to direct input such as variables in a subroutine call, but includes all data objects referenced by the routine whose values are fixed prior to entering it. For example, inputs in a calling sequence, objects in a data structure, values left in registers or any combination of the object type consist of inputs. The input of a particular test is mapped as a one-dimensional array called as an input vector. The path sensitization is based on the assumption that failure mechanism in a gate result in its input or output being stuck at 1 or stuck at 0. This fault is then traced along a path to the network output and its effects are noted. With this method, one can determine how the fault can be provoked and how it can be propagated to the output by means of sensitizing path or path from the fault through the associated gate to the outputs of the network. So we are focusing upon identifying achievable or unachievable path. For this, let us consider this term A plus BC into D plus C into FGH into IJ into K into I into L. We want to select and test enough path to achieve a satisfactory notation of the test completeness. Secondly, extract the program control flow graph and select a set of tentative covering path. For any path in that set, Interpret the predicate along the paths needed to express them in terms of input vector. In general, individual predicates are compound or may become compound as a result of interpretation. Trace the path thorough. Multiply the individual compound predicates to achieve a Boolean expression. So this multiplication will result in a, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L plus A, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L plus B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L plus B, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So this expression is the sum of product form. Each product term denotes as a set of inequalities that if sold will yield in an input vector that will drive the routine along a designated path. Solve any one of the inequality set for the chosen path and we can found a set of input value from that path. 
if we can find a solution then the path is known as a achievable path and if we cannot find a solution to any of the set of inequality the path is known as unachievable path the act of finding a set of solution to path to predicate expression is known as path sensitization so simply a path sensitization means that if we are dealing with an boolean compound expression then we have to simplify that expression and if we can find a solution then the path is known as an achievable path and if we cannot find a solution then that path is known as an unachievable path so finding the achievable and unachievable path is known as path sensitization methods the different heuristic procedures for sensitizing paths are path sensitization is a workable approach instead of selecting the path without considering how to sensitize attempt to choose a covering path set that is easy to sensitize and pick hard to sensitize path only as you must to achieve the coverage secondly identify all variables that affects the decision third one classify the predicate as dependent or independent and fourth one start the path selection with uncorrelated independent predicates and the fifth point is if the coverage has not been achieving independent uncorrelated predicate extend the path set using correlated predicates and the next point is if coverage has not been achieved extend the case to those that involve dependent predicates and lastly use correlated dependent predicates so dear students in this lecture we had discussed the path sensitization method so simply the path sensitization is the way of identifying whether the path is achievable or path is unachievable so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is write in detail about path sensitization so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss path instrumentation techniques in software testing so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best